second trimester is loosely known as a honeymoon period, but be warned, your morning sicknesses and tiredness doesn't disappear just like that. When 13th week rolled in for me, I was expecting to be my old energetic self immediately. I was expecting that boost of energy that everyone was talking about, but it never happened. I was still sick for the first couple of weeks. It was only around about the 16th week that I started feeling like myself. I could eat normally, I wasn't as sick and I wasn't as tired at all. While I started feeling like my normal self from the 16th week onwards, I faced a few other physical challenges because this is when my bum started showing and I was having a lot of changes in my body. So I needed to kind of make some adjustments on how I survived day to day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the items that were must-haves for me during the second trimester. These were all essentials for me and it really helped me get by during the second trimester. It feels as if I've been using this for ages now because I'm well into my third trimester by the time I'm filming this. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you're already in your second trimester or you're about to hit your second trimester and you're looking for some help. If that's you, I really hope this video is helpful. I'll be talking about food, entertainment, skincare, clothes and maternity specific items. And I'll include timestamps and links to the items mentioned in the description below. So make sure you click on show more so that you can see all of those things if you wanted to get it for yourself. With regards to food, you now have the green light to be more flexible with what you eat. Because you're already in the second trimester, you don't have to be as strict as you were during your first trimester. It wasn't the case for me at all because Lakshman was still super strict with what I had. But the only difference is that I wasn't craving any more starchy food or white food. I usually don't eat white rice or white bread as much at all. So in my second trimester, because I was less nauseous and I was less tired, I didn't need um, a lot more carbohydrates and I kind of reverted back to my healthy eating and you continuously need a lot more water so my water bottle was my best friend. Um, I continuously drank a lot of water from that water and the sippy straw was so helpful. I still don't have sushi or processed noodles and things like that um, but yeah if you want to have it then do your own research and check with your midwife before you do that. Entertainment isn't something new at all. I still continue doing whatever I did in the first trimester. I read a lot and I continued binge watching a lot of shows. Um, so you probably need some sort of subscriptions or if you're watching YouTube video, you're following some sort of a YouTuber online then. Yeah, that will probably help you get by. I didn't get any more new maternity specific books. The ones that I already had which I started reading from my first trimester onwards was really helpful throughout the second and the third trimester because it's meant to be for your entire pregnancy and it gives you more information about each trimester and each month and each week's developments. My skin texture changed so much during my second trimester. It became a lot more oily and a lot more acne prone. The regular skincare that I used before I was pregnant wasn't really pregnancy safe or rather it was recommended to use less of it rather than your usual amount, you know. So I kind of completely stopped that and I changed my entire skincare routine. But the only thing that actually worked to treat my acne was the Mario Badio cream that I found online. I actually got it from Amazon as well. Such a small bottle and it goes a long way. You can spot treat your acne. Now it doesn't work as quickly as any other acne treatment creams. However, it does work. It takes a couple of days, so you just need to spot treat it. I think you can use it about three times a day, but I only used it at night. Maybe that's why it took a couple of days for it, but it actually really helped. Since you're only spot treating, you only need a teeny weeny bit of it and it's going to last you well throughout your pregnancy and even after. I also needed more help with regards to body lotion. Initially during my first trimester, I only used the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I used it once or sometimes twice a day and that was sufficient. But during my second trimester, that wasn't sufficient at all. I needed something on top of that body lotion also. So I started using the Bio Oil. It is recommended that you start using the Bio Oil from your second trimester on it's not during your first trimester. I used the bio oil for about a week or two initially and I didn't quite like it. It was something to do with probably the texture of it or the smell of it. I don't know. It just didn't work for me. 
So I started using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Oil itself. My skin felt so much more better after using it. I used it like twice or sometimes even thrice a day. If you manage your first trimester without any maternity clothes or maternity jeans specifically, then the second trimester is when you really, really need these. I already had my maternity jeans from my first trimester onwards, so I just used it on a rotational basis in my second trimester also. But in addition to this, I actually bought a lot more clothes because I was planning for some photo shoots over Christmas and maternity photo shoots and everything but with the lockdown and the pandemic and the change of rules it was rather pointless so I hardly ever use those things but what I did was I got two pairs of joggers from New Look these were not even maternity joggers it was just regular joggers that you could wear at home it's like a loungewear because I'm working from home, I want to be comfortable. I dislike wearing anything over the bump. I just prefer things below the bump. So these joggers were always on a rotational basis. I would wear one for a couple of days, put it on the wash, and then I'll wear the second one while the first one is drying and then rotate it that way. The only time I really wore jeans was when I went to church, went out to my midwife's appointments or went out for walks. Other than that, I never wore jeans while I was at home. And the final category that I'm gonna talk about is an absolute must have from your second trimester onwards. During your second trimester, your body is changing shape, your bump is growing. And because of that, you will naturally develop a lot of aches and pains, especially by your sides and the hips when you sleep on your sides, because it is recommended that you sleep on your sides, rather your back or your belly. To help relieve these aches and pains at night, you need to elevate your knees and your ankle so that it's in line with your hips, so that it doesn't cause you any pain. You can use multiple regular pillows, you know, between your knees and your ankle, but I didn't find it very practical. I just found it really difficult throughout the night to use multiple pillows around me. It kept moving. It wasn't really supporting. So I got this maternity pillow from Amazon. It comes in a pack of two. There is one long bolster that I use between my knees and my ankle and I use it under my bump also throughout. And with a smaller pillow, I put that against my back so it prevents me from turning over on my back at night unexpectedly. The reviews on Amazon on this item was a little bit confusing initially. I was a bit concerned. However, it did not disappoint me. I've used it every single day and it's not flattened out on me. You can even remove the casing so you can put it in the wash as you would normally do with your laundry and you can fold it around and use it as a nursing pillow later on once your baby is born if you wanted to. These were my second trimester must-haves. It's not much at all but it's truly essential and very useful during the second trimester and I believe it will be for you too. Be sure to click on the description box below to check out any of the items if you wanted to for yourself and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your pregnancy. Bye!